We're here in Trieste in northern Italy for Travel Mall TV for the float out of Ventura, P&O Cruises new superliner which has been built specifically for the British market. And we've been talking to people from the cruise line and from travel agents to get their views about this fantastic new vessel. It's just going to be mind blowing for people who've never cruised before. Ventura is important because for, uh, for P&O is the biggest ship that we are delivering for them. And this means that uh, it's a very, uh, very good, important business with uh, Fincantieri and uh, Ventura. Just think that only 10 months ago we were putting the first piece of steel in the bottom of this dry dock and we now structurally have a ship which is almost complete, ready to be floated out and to commence the outfitting of the spaces on board, uh, ready for her maiden cruise in just another 10 months' time. And this is our new um, silver two pound coin with a new Britannia. There we are. And this is going to go be welded into the box. Yes. David's been telling me all the different things and the um, new sort of innovations that they've got on her compared to all the others. She's um, been selling great in our shop, particularly in for Thomas Cook. We're very, very proud of the fact that we're going to be bringing a ship like this into the British market. This is unique for Britain. Never has such a special ship been built for that market. Well, it's great to show the ship off to people, uh, particularly um, our travel agents, who are the people who have done such a great job in selling so many cabins on Ventura already. This is a very good day for us, and this means that uh, go around the ship with the godmother and the president of uh, PNO is clear that it's a very, uh, very good event for us and uh, we enjoy a lot of this, uh, this event. Initially they, they narrowed it down to sort of 20 Thomas Cook shops and then you had to do a, a sort of a no more than 20 words why you should be the Madrina of the ship so I sat down and wrote because um, I really wanted to, to do it um, like five and shortlisted it and sent in one and I won it so it was yeah it was great. It's good for Thomas Cook as well as, as me personally it's a a real honour for me after all my years in travel. It's, you know, sort of the best thing I think that's ever happened to me, yes. Well, I've been uh, taking our Madrina um, through all the uh, important parts of the ship, um, telling her exactly what's going to be going on in each part of the ship. A restaurant for families, that's something new as well. You know, where families can go and not be worried about the children, <laughs> you know, wearing their dinner or, you know, making a mess. I mean, I really didn't think that there'd be so much kind of hype around a bit. I mean, you know, it was a big thing, but all the photographers and uh, it's just great, you know. <laughs> you know, flying out in the private jet and just uh, the, everybody's been so lovely and welcoming and just, you know, it's great to see they're so proud of their ship that they've built. Ventura just means a sense of discovery, a sense of exploration, exploring all the things that you can do on this wonderful ship as well as all the wonderful places that she's going to sail to. Madrina, in nome di Dio, taglia! I've never been on a ship which is in its raw state, almost core and shell. And walking through it, I was trying to imagine it, but it's very difficult for me. But what you do see is when you get to those public areas like Deck 15, you can start to see the space, you can, you can start to piece it together. It's very special. And the whole occasion has been fantastic. I mean, seeing the priest turn up, then listening to the two national anthems, because I'm half Italian, I'm half English. So it's quite an emotional moment for me. I wish my daughter had been here and my sons had been here to see it because it's quite magical. And then seeing the water run in, amazing. I love the name Ventura. I think it's fantastic. I think it says everything. You know, it's a sexy name. It's a sexy ship. I mean, you know, I would bring my children on Ventura even if I wasn't linked to P&O. I think cruising is amazing. And in the case of Ventura, what we've been keen to do is to look at the authentic, look at the quality, look at the attention to detail. Uh, Ventura herself has got very elegant lines and so the products that we're designing are all required to have very elegant lines too. We are now rapidly approaching being two-thirds full for the ship. We've had our record booking days and record booking weeks. The public have really accepted the ship like, uh, like never before. Well, what I've seen today here down at uh, Trieste is a very futuristic, modern, 113,000 tonne liner which is going to offer the new cruising public and I think the traditional cruising public a huge diversity on board the ship uh, for cruising of the future. 
it's got to be a serious, serious positive to the, to the industry. We've got the resources and we've got the scale to do things which are really quite distinctive and really quite unique across the whole vessel. And instead of it being bits and pieces, as many other vessels have been, this is a complete homogeneous design solution. The travel agents as such have a job to be able to uh, introduce uh, these people to the whole concept of the modern cruise liner. So uh, that's the big job initially, to be able to get them to understand what it's all about. There has been a lot of demand for this type of ship. Um, you know, it's going to be the largest in the P&O fleet. So I, I believe it's, it's something that's, that's missing currently. The family demand has been, been huge. Uh, big, big interest in the summer school holiday cruises on her. So the, the Noddy, the Scare Electrics and the facilities we have on there for families are really working hard. The associated Marco Pierre White is clearly also working very well for us. I think it's a real cocktail of things. Uh, all the icons are built into the ship that are appealing to the public. p and have got very good staff, which makes your life a lot easier. You know, you've got Mike Moynihan, you've got Trevor, his executive chef. And so therefore you, uh, you feel comfortable. They're from the same world that I came from, that same generation. So we speak the same language. And, you know, it's, I think, you know, it's a job at the end of the day, and it's about working together like everything in life. I'm one link within a chain, in a very big chain, but I'm one link. And nothing pleases more to get on board ship and start cooking. If I have to spend more days than I'm meant to spend, then I will spend more days, because it's got to be right, because my name's above the door. Well, the amount of time that we're spending on the details, I think, really is quite significantly different from anybody else that's uh, put an operation like this together and uh, I've been brought in at quite an early stage to make sure that all of the things that um, matter to people have been thought through very carefully, really from uh, the cutlery through the shower curtain uh, to make sure that people really appreciate the quality and attention to detail that's in the whole proposition. Well, what I've said is, is let's have a slightly bigger menu, but then let's th let that menu run for three or four days and then reintroduce another menu and another menu. So they might have three or four menus over that period of their two-week cruise. But you'll have one or two signature dishes, which I think is very important. What I've seen today here at, uh, at Trieste is, uh, is the enormity of the wow factor. If you could use your imagination there this morning and see what eventually this ship will look like, I mean, it's a, it's a tremendous facility and, uh, and a tremendous new acquisition for P&O Cruises and based in Southampton, of course. 2010, uh, April, we'll be uh, bringing the next one along. <laughs>